just staring at me. Romper is going to be chilling in the background for today's video, so don't mind him if he's just around and about, minding his own business. Hey you guys, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. In today's video, we're just going to be doing a chill get ready with me video. I have some new products that I got recently from ColourPop. So I got a couple of things. I think I got a blush, bronzer, highlighter, some eyeshadows. I think that's pretty much it. And I got myself a crease brush because I use my blending crease brushes so, so much that I just kind of wanted to pick up another one, especially because a lot of my makeup brushes are now in my wedding makeup kit. So I wanted to pick up a new one for my own collection. And sorry, I'm just like making sure that Romper doesn't try to get in to things that he's not supposed to. These products are by no means new on ColourPop. It's just new to me, so... I'm just going to be trying them out because I haven't really tried out a lot of their single shadows like the ones that you can put into your own customizable palette or any of their blushes and bronzers really so I wanted to give it a shot. I'm just going to do my normal kind of everyday makeup. Also, excuse my really frizzy, puffy hair right now. I just got out of the shower and I used some products that I'm not really a big fan of so I will update you guys on some disappointing products in a future video. Before we jump into this video, if you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. Thank you so much for watching this video and welcome to my channel. If you're into self-care and lifestyle videos, I would love it if you subscribe and follow me on Instagram to see my day-to-day. -day. I post a lot of stories, things that I'm up to on more of a daily basis, so go ahead and follow me over there. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. I have my iced matcha latte with me today, so that is the drink of choice. Like I mentioned before, I did get some stuff from ColourPop to try out. I'm really excited because I haven't played with new makeup products in a really long time because I just don't buy a lot of makeup these days, trying to minimize my spending on makeup, but ColourPop is super affordable, so I did pick up a few things that I can also add into my wedding makeup kit. So after I try on these products, I'm going to sanitize them and put them in my makeup kit. Yeah, I wanted to try out myself so I know exactly how these products Products work so when I use them on clients it's not a surprise how they're gonna work and perform so that's what we are up to today I already have my skincare on and everything so I'm just gonna go straight into foundation I don't have a new foundation but I think what I'm going to do today is do a really light coverage because I am at the moment having a pretty good skin day which is pretty rare so I'm gonna take advantage of the skin Skin today. I'm gonna actually mix foundations today. I like to use a little bit of a cocktail method. This is the Ethereal-less Skin Illuminating Foundation by Kevin Aquan. This is one of my all-time favorite foundations of all time because this is super tried and true. It doesn't break me out or anything. Super good for sensitive skin and I love the finish that this gives. It's such a nice satin to dewy finish but it stays on my skin for a really long Long time and it just looks beautiful. I've gotten tons of compliments whenever I wear this, so one of my favorites. I'm gonna mix this with the Kick Ass All Day Wear Foundation by Soap and Glory. This one is a pretty underrated product. It's so, so good. I got this when I discovered it from one of Taylor Wynn's videos because she compares this with one of her all-time favorite foundations. I'm obsessed with this. It is so, so lightweight, but super long wearing and it's sweat proof. So it's perfect for the summer and it's not too, too expensive. I wanna say it was around the 10 to $15 range. So I'm gonna actually cocktail these two together. These two can provide really beautiful coverage, but it's more on the medium side. It's really nice because the Kick-Ass foundation is actually slightly too light for me and a little too gray, to be honest, but mixed with the Etherealist foundation, it provides a really nice color for me. The Etherealist one is slightly too dark and it's more on the peachy tone. Just mix it. This is what I usually do. I'm just gonna do a really light layer of foundation today because I don't really feel like kicking up a lot of makeup. I usually just <laughs> smear it like a freaking war paint. <laughs> 
on my skin and buff it out with a synthetic brush. My problematic area is my forehead and around my nose and mouth area. That's kind of like the T-zone. I should have just said that <laughs> instead. I'm gonna take this really dense synthetic foundation brush kind of buff it in but I also like to just bounce it on my skin so it doesn't lift up any dead skin cells or dry patches because I do have some dry patches here and there which is unfortunate because I have the worst of both worlds I have some dry patches but most of the time my skin is pretty oily so nothing really stays on my face that well but I love this combination for foundation because it is very thin but also provides pretty decent coverage while being really lightweight. Look at that. That already just made my complexion so much more even. My camera is actually about to die so I will be right back. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I totally thought that I didn't have a backup battery for my camera, so I was like frantically searching for one, but I'm glad that I uh, had one already charged. Where do we leave off? I just put on my foundation, so I'm just gonna conceal some of the darkness underneath my eyes. And I recently picked up this MAC Pro Longwear concealer that I used to use when I was in college. I have the color NC30. I freaking hate this pump. It is literally the worst. It has no control of how much the product comes out and it's just not convenient at all. I would rather have like a doe foot applicator or a squeezy tube, something else other than this freaking dreaded pump. I'm just going to put a small amount on my ring finger and this color is actually perfect for me. So if you are somewhere around my skin tone, NC30 would be pretty good for you. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to blend it out. I'm just gonna warm it up and this is literally what I do. Put like three little dots and then put it somewhere around my nose. I have the most, I guess, blemishes. This blends out so easily and I remember why I liked it so much because it really does not crease under my eyes, which I love. It just looks very smooth and I really like it. I think the complexion is where I want it to be because I don't want it to be super full coverage or anything. I want like a light layer of foundation today. Oh my God, I cannot deal with this hair right now. It is, <laughs> Ugh, I can't. I'm gonna try out this new bronzer that I got from them. It is quite dark. I don't know how this is gonna go. This is their pressed powder bronzer in private party. I don't know, we'll see if it works on lighter skin tones because it does look quite dark in the pan. Hopefully it works on me, so. Let's try it out. I'm just gonna use my pointed blush brush by Moda. I don't know how pigmented this is going to be, so let's do that. <laughs> just gonna do a very light layer of bronzer because I don't want it to look super fake. Okay, it's not as... Not as scary as I thought it was going to be. And I don't think it's pulling too red, which is good. It's more of a very like natural, actual tan color, which I like because it gives more definition to the face. Looks a little bit more realistic. That's what it looks like. Put a very light layer on. The color is actually not too shabby. A little bit more on my forehead. I actually kind of really like that because it looks very natural for what it looks like in the pan because it does look quite intimidating. I actually really like that color. Okay, next I'm going to put on a blush and I got two blushes actually, but I know which one I'm gonna try for today's video. This one is called Rom-Com, which is more of like a berry tone color. And this is, excuse my French, in Amora Peachy Coral. 
and you guessed it, peachy coral for today it is because I think it'll just tie in with this olive shirt anyway, not that your makeup should or have to match your outfit, but that's how my thought process is like. It is such a pretty peachy, oh, rosy color. I love it. This looks so pretty. I'm gonna take a kind of flimsy blush brush gonna pop that on. I do tend to go slightly heavier on the blush because I just can't get enough. Oh my god, I totally forgot to do my eyebrows. I just remembered. <laughs> I'm gonna do that next. Oh, that's a really pretty subtle color. It does have like a very natural sheeny finish. There's no like glitter or shimmer or anything like that. It's supposedly a matte blush, but it does have some dimension in it, which I love. I don't really focus my blush too heavily on the apples of my cheeks because I find that it makes me look a little unnatural. I kind of like to make it a little higher along the temple and then kind of contour my cheeks with it. Oh, so pretty. I like that a lot. I actually really love this blush. It's so pretty. Now I'm going to do my brows because that's gonna bother me if I don't. <laughs> I'm just going to take my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Soft Brown. I use this every single day. I only fill in the area where I don't have as much definition because I do have microbladed brows, but the pigment faded a little bit more on the ends of my brows, probably because of like all the anti-aging products that I use it on my face. So I like to fill in those areas that are losing pigment. Having microbladed brows are literally the best because you don't spend nearly as much time on them. God knows how much time I lost with my brows. Super easy and simple. Gonna put on some highlighter because I'm excited to try this. I have this highlighter in Dreamscape. It looks like a very typical champagne color, but it's more on the lighter side. It looks actually pretty frosty. We'll see how this looks. It looks, yeah, it looks pretty white, actually. It looked more champagne-y on their website, but hopefully this doesn't come out too frosty on my skin. I'm just going to use a highlighting brush. This is by Morphe. It's the M451. I'm gonna just put it along the temple and then on my cheekbones. Okay. A little more right here. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Okay It's not like stark white. So that's nice. It looks really finely milled. So I Like that. It doesn't look like it's just like laying on top of my skin. Oh Yeah, that looks pretty. Can you guys see the shine? Oh I like it. I'm glad that worked out because it looked really, really light in the pan, but... Now, moving on to the eyes, I'm actually gonna put on some lip gloss because I hate foundation lips. It is like one of my biggest pet peeves <laughs> on myself. This is such a natural, pretty color. I love this one so much. This is by Bite Beauty. It's the French Press Lip Gloss in Dirty Chai. Pretty sure they discontinued this because they were moving into a whole vegan line, I believe, which is great. But I think they got rid of a lot of their products because it wasn't fully vegan. So I think this was one of them. I bought four different eyeshadows and they're all the single panned ones. I got two different browns and then two different like highlighting pops of color. I actually don't have a transition color available, so I'm going to use the same bronzer that I have in Private Party and use that on my eyes to create a transition. And I actually picked up the ColourPop crease brush as well because I wanted to try their brushes. I feel like these crease brushes, you can never have too many of. These are the brushes that I use the most. 
start putting that in my crease. Oh, this is such a pretty color for your crease. Very nice. I really like this color on my eyes. I feel like I like it more on my eyes than <laughs> on my face. I mean, on my face, it's really nice too, but I like this. This is so nice. I also really enjoy using a bronzer for your transition shade because it just looks really natural. It's almost like a really nice tone of brown that's very seamless. That already gives a lot more definition to my eyes than it looked without it. I'm just building up the intensity as I go. Love, 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 love. Love this as an eyeshadow. Seriously, this is a giant pan for an eyeshadow, but it's pretty worth it in my opinion. Now I'm going to darken up my crease a little bit on the outer edges. With one of these, I bought Feathered, which is this really dark, dark brown. And the Conundrum color, which is uh, more of a deep medium brown. You can definitely tell that this one is very, very deep. I'm gonna go with this one, Conundrum. I am just going to pick this up on the same brush and then I'm just gonna focus this more on the outer corners. This is what I usually like to do. I like to elongate my eyes just slightly. Put it on the outer V and then drag what's remaining a little bit towards the middle. I think that looks super pretty. I really like this color. It's really easy to work with because it's not intensely pigmented where you feel like you have no control. It is buildable though, so I like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. This is definitely my go-to look when it comes to, you know, going out. Like if I wanna do a little bit on the eyes but not nothing too heavy or dramatic, but I still want it to look, you know, done up and like I put in some effort into my makeup. I really like this brush too. It's very soft and feathery. Feels very gentle on the eyes. That is what my eyes look like so far. And maybe I will use this on my lash line as kind of like a smudged eyeliner look. This is again called Feathered, it's the deeper brown. And I'm gonna take a pencil brush this time, create more of like a smudged eyeliner effect. This is the Pencil E30 brush by Sigma. Gonna just pick up a little bit and line my eyes very slightly. <laughs> Yeah, you can definitely tell the difference between this eye and this eye. This Y. This eye and this eye because this just looks a little bit deeper. Blends very well. I'm very impressed so far by their single shadows. I'm gonna also put a little bit of the feathered color on the lower lash line, just a little bit to add cohesiveness. So far, so good, guys. I really love all of these things. I think I'm actually able to use all of the eyeshadows, which is great. This is in Painted Lady. Super pretty, very peachy, almost glittery shimmer. And I love colors like this because it reminds me of the summer. <laughs> and I'm just gonna take a flat, just regular old, paddle brush. I'm gonna put this, I might actually have to use my finger for this because these type of shadows work best with your fingertips. So I'm gonna put that, ooh, ooh, that is pretty. Has a little bit of fallout though, but nothing big. I really like this color and I really like the little specks of glitter. I think like shimmer on the lid honestly just makes your look so much more glamorous than it would be if it was an all matte look. I love my all matte looks for daily wear, obviously, but something about putting shimmery eyeshadow 
on your lid. Gonna stipple that on. After that, I'm gonna use the last eyeshadow remaining and it is in the color Let Me Explain. <laughs> I love that. This is so cute. I'm gonna use this as my inner corner highlight. This is the color. I'm going to just use another different pencil brush. Put this on the bottom and on the middle of my eye. These colors are just very up my alley. I love my like glamorous neutrals. It's like my favorite look to do. So I really love this. I might put on some lashes now because I feel like it just completes the look. I'm gonna skip my liquid liner because I kind of like it this way. Just very simple, softer, neutral look. I really also like how it lashes on just non-lined eyes look. I think it just makes everything look so feathery. Sorry, I have to like clean my lashes. I have to literally pull off all the glue from my last time. I usually use my House of Lashes eyelash adhesive and then I love this little lash tool by Velour. It is awesome, just makes putting on your lashes so much easier. The lashes that I'm using today is by Red Cherry Lashes. Remember, those were so popular back then. They're super, super affordable. I think I got this for like $3 or something and I love them. They are so natural looking. I'm gonna let the glue dry while I tell you guys which lashes these are. So it's the Red Cherry eyelashes in number 747S. I'm guessing S is for short, but I'm not 100% sure about that, but it's 747. Love these so, so much. They are super natural looking, very feathery. I need to get really close to my mirror now. So I'm gonna pop these babies on and I'll be right back. I love these. They just make your eyes look so much prettier, but they're so, so light and easy to put on and not too dramatic. I love this. It's like a very nice everyday lash. The eyes are all finished with my lashes on and everything. I swear the lashes make every eye look just complete. It's so crazy how different it looks. I'm gonna put on a little bit more of that lip gloss. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a really fun time just discovering new products from ColourPop. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. And if you wanna help me grow on this channel, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay classy and stay cozy, and I'll see you again soon in my next video. Bye.